G'day guys and welcome to the episode of Team Adamant Fishing Adventures as well, where it isn't so good for fishing. So I'm going to do a little bit different episode and put my rigs to test. Been a little bit of controversy lately on uh, Facebook where my hook's supposedly straightening. Well yes, one, in, one hook in particular did, but I no longer sell them and haven't sold them for many years. And that was a non-forged 20 Now our gear is better than ever. We got your forged 20 these are six mil, won't straighten. And to test this theory, we're gonna tow some vehicles with it. First vehicle we've got is a tow vehicle. Mitsubishi Triton, four wheel drive. Second vehicle, Josh's vehicle. Once again, Mitsubishi Triton, four wheel drive. So what we're gonna do is, I've got, instead of the swivel, I've got a loop on the other trace. It's gonna hook over the tow ball of the front vehicle. And the actual hook is going to hook into this hook here underneath Josh's vehicle. Now what we're actually gonna do for safety reasons is we're gonna lay, lay towels over the trace just in case something does go wrong. We don't want it, you know, any parts of the trace going through windscreens and injuring anyone. So I'll set up and let's see what happens. As you can see, also, I've been double crimped with your copper crimps. I haven't heat shrunk, so we can see if there's been, gonna be any slippage also, because the end of the wire, and what you can see up in there, is just at the end of that second crimp. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get Josh here to roll back very slowly until that tension takes up. Okay, as you can see here, a little bit of tension to it, not a great deal. I'm gonna lay I'm gonna lay one towel in the middle. Sorry about my hand. It's uh, quite difficult doing this by myself. I'm gonna lay one towel over this end. And another towel over this end. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna start, go, go back, and I tell my old man to start the car, and let's see how we're going. Whenever you're ready, old boy. You're on strain, handbrake off, in neutral. Start moving forward slowly. Well, as you can see, easily done. Oh. Here they come uh, back down the hill. It's gonna be interesting to see what's going on. I told Josh to actually, uh, him be the brakes for the front car as well. I told dad not to use any brakes whatsoever. So let's see what goes on here. Alrighty. You stop, Dad. Alright. Start with this one. Then you can see up in there. There's the end of the wire. No, uh, no slippage whatsoever on that, on that section there. And we'll go to the hook. Now you have it. The hook is still straight. I did bring another hook to compare. 
So oh, come down here on the road. So as you can see, not bent once, not bent whatsoever. The crimp hasn't pulled. Try and get the focus. Sorry about that. So there you go. There you have it. The 600 pound 20O Trace. Well, you can tow a vehicle up a slide hill. As you can see, it's slide uphill here. So, um, you know, next test is I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go grab it and we'll be right back with you. Alrighty, guys, here we're at plan B. So, behind me here, nice steep hill. Now, uh, it doesn't look overly steep, but it's probably about a, or a 20, 20 odd degree angle. And uh, we're going to put the big trace to the test. Now, this is a thousand pound. It's way, way overboard for shark fishing. You don't need to use a thousand pound. But we keep it in stock for those guys who do like to use it. Um, we use 600 pound maximum and we've never been bitten off uh, through it. So, I'm gonna get this ready. Same situation. I'm gonna put the loop on the tow ball and the hook on that hook under that vehicle. Now, it's double crimped, as you can see. Nice, big, strong crimps there. Nice and tidy. And once again, the way is just poking through the end. And at the other end of this trace, once again, that Y is just poking through the end. So we can see if this particular you know, trace will slip. Now we're gonna go up in this hill in four wheel low while towing the other vehicle. It's gonna be a big test. Be a lot more strain going on. I do somewhat suspect something's gonna go wrong because you know the forces on, on this trace is gonna be insane. But if it holds up, that will be one unreal, unbreakable trace. So, as I was saying before, I expect something to fail. As you look down here, at this hook, when this takes up pressure, the angle of pull is uh, quite great. Because it's gonna be pulling through this section of the gape, or this section of the bend of the hook, it can straighten a lot easier then like a hook shark will be pulling down this section. And also remember that a shark's mouth is quite soft where we're pulling on a solid object. So um, we'll get the boys to uh, take up strain and um, see what we can do. And I'll put the, um, the towels on for safety because when this goes, it's gonna go in a big way. So, Josh, you hold still. The old boy's gonna slowly take up this slack. Another couple of meters yet. Keep it going. And a little bit more. Yep. All right, as you can see, one, two, three towels. Now we're all set to go. Move well out of the way here. <laughs> oh boy, very slowly take up the strain. Easy on the throttle. Here comes the part where something's gonna happen, it'll happen. Oh, I just heard a noise then, and there it go. Okay, let's see what happened. Alrighty. See. So I have got a little bit of uh, 
a bend in the old hook there but uh, as you can see it's a fairly clean snap about 25-30 centimeters from the end so um, there you go goes to show you just how good our product is now you have to remember like there's the old boy's car up there and Josh's car's behind us Josh got over three quarters way up this hill before anything went wrong and just remember his car wasn't going going uphill and we all know you know force of gravity will uh, will make things a lot heavier as they're going uphill especially when there's uh, you know no help besides uh, a bit of a pull alrighty guys well you know what I think our, my gears or I should say our gear is uh, pretty good so um, stay tuned because we're going to bring you a lot of episodes where we're um, you know always catching big sharks alrighty guys until next time cheers and good luck